The Alton Tuya Sharibu murder case should be reopened, says Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad. In a meeting with the victim's father, Dr. Sharibu Setif, and family lawyer Ram Kapal Singh on Wednesday, Dr. Mahathir agreed that the 12 year old case should be looked into again. And uh, we, it was a very good meeting. We discussed the case, told him, briefed him on the facts of the case, and I think uh, he also. Uh, agrees that this is a good case or a fit and proper case that uh, should be reopened, further investigation should be reopened. Of course, um, uh, we, we, we gave him our reasons, we told him our reasons why we feel that this is a, a, a case that ought to be reopened and he was uh, in agreement with that as long as it is in accordance with the rule of law which he stressed, which we, we, we also agree with. Uh, that is why uh, Mr. Sharibu has lodged his police report this morning, uh, so that uh, we can uh, kickstart the process of uh, of uh, coming to you know to the end of this very long drawn saga. Ram Kapal told reporters outside the Prime Minister's office after the meeting. Also present were a Mongolian translator and a representative from the Mongolian consulate. Dr. Sharibu had earlier lodged a report at the Dangwangi Police Headquarters in Kuala Lumpur seeking a fresh investigation. He also said Mongolian President Karl Majin Batuga had spoken to him over the phone to thank Dr. Mahathir. I had the chance to meet Mr. Mahathir, Prime Minister of Malaysia. In this Yugu Jaya Luxembourg, I had to meet him. I had to meet him. I to meet him. I to Law should serve for citizens. How many The most precious thing is a human. Tum to hot sun here at the many of the hot sun she gave to the hot dog. Who did it in any case uh, which my daughter uh, uh, has murdered, you know, uh, law served for it. Uh, we had a face to face as a fathers with Mr. Prime Minister just now. It was, I'm so uh, satisfied with this meeting. Two former policemen, Siro Aza Umar and accomplice Azila Hadri, were convicted of murdering Alton Tuya in 2009 and sentenced to death by the High Court, although the Court of Appeal overturned this in 2013. On the prosecution's appeal, the federal court upheld their death sentences, but Siro had fled to Australia by then. Former political analyst Abdul Razak Baginda, who was charged together with them, was freed on October 31, 2008, after the court found no concrete evidence against him. Meanwhile, Ram Kapal said the identity of the individual who ordered the murder of Altantuya could already be determined from the previous police investigation. What is certain and what is obvious, I think, is that there certainly are other people involved. I think that is uh, quite clear that uh, the, the other people involved who ordered the murder of Altan Tuya. And I think that is uh, something which needs to be, uh, you know, uh, investigated urgently, you know, to put this matter to rest.